I mean it. I have to go. Mm. Well, you could not, guys. <laughs> Because five more minutes means 20 minutes. Well, that's some interesting math. I have to go grocery shopping. <gasps> now? I don't have any food in my house, Cyrus. <laughs> you wouldn't cook even if there was. I cook. What a pizza. <laughs> I have to go to the gym. Get your cardio here. Don't you have to get back to Marina? This minute. Look, I promised myself I wasn't going to let this interfere with my real life. Well, what happened to living in the moment? We just did live in the moment twice. <laughs> it's not like I want to go. I have to go. I need to go. <laughs> hey, Rubes. A little early. I'm ready for you. Well, you pick out a color. I trust you. I didn't know you came here. Hey, yeah, first time. She <laughs> says she usually does her own nails. Yeah, I figured it was time to bring in a professional. Well, you should get a French manicure. <laughs> what do you think they call French manicures in France? I don't know, manicures, I guess, Rubes. Do I look like I've been to France? <laughs> it's okay, me neither. She's going soon, though. What happened? I don't know. Cyrus and I went out to get a bite to eat, and we ran into this party that Harley was having for Jude's basketball team. Uh-huh. And when we walked in, she walked out to the car to get the trophies, and guess who followed her? Your fiance. Of course. I guess you couldn't go after him because of her bum knee. So I sent my dad and my grandpa and Rick out to the car to help Harley get the trophies. Nice. Yes, only when they showed up, Cyrus was nowhere to be seen. Of course not. And Harley came up with some lame excuse as to why she was in her car in the middle of February, half naked, without a single basketball trophy to be seen. And they bought that? I even felt sorry for her. Oh my gosh, okay. She's good. Yeah, she's good. Dinah, you should have seen the way that they looked at each other. Well, you do know you can't give up now. I'm not giving up. I want to keep Cyrus away from Harley now more than ever. Can wait, Bill. Yeah, sorry about that. It's traffic. But I got the contracts right here. It's so. all right. It doesn't matter who the land goes to, as long as it goes to Lewis, right? Hey! Pleasure doing business with you, Keith. I look forward to working with you, Billy. <laughs> You stole my property. Oh, no, 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 no. You steal. I just uh, bought it before you could. That's no, all. Look, that, that lot is adjacent to my Main Street project, and that is why. That I is why you it. should have been here earlier, so you could have gotten it. Um, you got to buy some coffee? No, I was surprised that I, I snaked you on this one, too. Traffic, you say, huh? You know what? That's fine. You could take the land, all right? I got enough to deal with right now. Uh, it wouldn't be a, a, a girl whose name rhymes with Dizzy. But it, um, it, uh, you know, I, I didn't run into any traffic today when I came in. She has nothing to do with it, okay, Dan? Oh, come on, boy. Ever since she's been going out with Jonathan, you've been spun like a top. Would you care if I wore a white dress? Yeah, whatever. Wear whatever you want. Are you thinking about Tammy? It's okay if you are. Let's just get this wedding over. Let's just do this and get on with our lives. It's what's best for Sarah. Get Bill off our backs. Is there a problem? Uh, no, there's no problem. Just one small problem. What? I don't want you to take it the wrong way. Did you happen to kill your girlfriend's father while you were away? Family. Destiny. Light. Hope. Charity. Friendship. Love. Faith. Laughter. Joy. Kindness. Understanding. Peace. Forgiveness. Happiness. Freedom. There is a 
destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. It's probably nothing, but Bill dug up this story about that girl, Aubrey, that you were dating and, and her dad being a sheriff and dying mysteriously. And dying mysteriously could mean a lot of different things, but whatever happened was a big enough deal that it made it into the papers, but the town could have been small enough that, you know, everything makes it into the papers, like whoever grew the biggest pumpkin at the county fair Lizzie. or whatever. Did you do it? Jonathan, talk to me. No. No, you didn't do it, or no, you won't talk to me. No, you don't need to know anything more about it. Better if you don't. OK, see, now you're really freaking me out. Were you involved? What else did he say? Who? Bill, when he told you about it. <sighs> he was just bringing it to my attention. You believe that? He's done nothing but play you. He doesn't do that anymore, I don't think. And, uh, besides, I made him swear that he would drop it. Oh, you made him swear? Then I'm sure he will. He will for my sake. Yeah, maybe for now. No, it's almost worse this way. How? Wait, where are you going? He's saving it to use, and it'll no. do the most damage. No, he's not doing that. That's, uh, Jonathan, wait. I'm going to take care of this. Oh, well, that's great. That never means anything good. Ugh. Well, I think that there's still a chance for us. I love him, Dinah. I love Cyrus. There was coming a point here where I was about to give up on finding my one. I mean, you can only have your heart broken so many times before you start wondering if you are better off with a dog. Well, for a while, it was between Mallet and a Terrier mix. <laughs> I know not everyone was happy when Cyrus and I were together, but I was happy. We were happy. We made each other happy. I don't know what's going on with he and Harley, but... What? I don't know what is going on with he and Harley at all. Will you find out for me? If it's love or just sex? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I may not like the answer, but I have to know. I want to know what they're doing, if they're planning on keeping this a secret, or, or if they're just waiting until my limp goes away before they pull out the rug from underneath me. Please tell me you're not still thinking about throwing out your back no, for mallet. No, not at all. But I do wonder what happens when someone pulls a rug out from underneath you. <laughs> Don't do it. Where are you going? I have to go to physical therapy. Will you do it? Will you take up some dirt? Marina, do you really think I would spy on a friend? Yes. That's my girl. Smart, good. Yes, I will get the dirt for you. Thank you. I wish we could just stay here. We could come back later. Think there'll ever be a time when we can be together without sneaking around? It feels really cheap. But it's not. We thought it would make life easier. Mm. Hey. I can't be without you now. Listen. It's up to us when we put this out there. I don't care what people think. Well, I won't let it stop me from being with you, but I have to care when it comes to my family. I don't want to hurt Marina either. It's not just Marina's feelings that I'm worried about anymore. Rick is not letting up with this custody thing. Did he say something else to you? It's not just you anymore, you know? After my big excuse for what happened in the car... He's using the panic attacks? He thinks I'm not capable of caring for Jude. And you know, if he tells that to a judge, then Zach's custody could come into question. And... 
Who knows? Marina's surgeries and recovery and everything's so up in the air. And you're the one thing I want to count on. You're up in the air. Where's the baby? With my mother. Oh. Thought I was going to get to see the little angel. Can I uh, trust you to pass this along to her? Mm. How'd you know that I was here? Beth. Oh, right, right. Those crack detective skills. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's very pretty. Did you steal it? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. Thought I would have just to get that smile out of you. <laughs> I thought you wore your pregnancy well, but now you look fantastic. Rick's a lucky guy. <laughs> He's really a mess without you, you know. I saw him at Jude's party. Didn't look so good, huh? Well, any guy would look better with you on his arm. But, yeah. It was pretty bad. I mean, this must be tough for you, too. You look great. So but... you said. But how are you feeling? Like I'm being played. What? Oh, come on. I know that Rick is going to go after custody of Jude. I know that's because of your association with Harley, and I bet you know it, too. So let's see. You create a distraction. Maybe Rick's wife takes him back, and then it gets his mind off things. How am I doing so far? Wow, you'd make a fine detective. I think Harley's hiring. <gasps> really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Harley? Is that you? Hey! Hi, Hi Marina. I, uh, I didn't even think that you could work out. Oh, physical therapy exercises, actually. But I'm stronger than you think. Good. Yeah. Well, you'll be back on your feet in no time. <laughs> actually, I could use a little help with my exercises. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you need me to do? Uh, mostly just make sure I don't fall. <laughs> I'm still a little off balance. Yeah, I know how that feels. <sighs> you know, and I get those attacks. I can't breathe. I get all dizzy. Okay. Like in the car. Exactly. Right. So where do you want me um, to... Actually, <laughs> right there is perfect. Um, and thank you for doing this. This makes me feel better knowing that someone has my back so I don't get hurt. Here. Why are you here so late? <clears throat> Why are you holding your hands like that? I just got back from Ruby's. I'm still a little tacky. Uh, I hear the whole place is tacky. Where'd you hear that from? Lizzie? I don't talk to Lizzie unless I have to, okay? Oh, somebody's in the mood. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm going to come over there and thumb wrestle you, okay? So, Evan, tell me why you're here so late. Because I'm a little behind, that's all. Billy's not catching up enough to take over oh, Louis' construction, Oh, my goodness. Will you relax? I still oh, hold a major account. Oh, he is. Oh, my goodness. Bill, what the hell is wrong with you? Mm, you know what? Got a lot of work to do, okay? I'm trying to do it, so. I'm not your problem. Why don't you just tell Lizzie you're in love with her and put us all out of our misery? I'm not in love with her, okay? She's just stuck in my head. She's stuck in your heart. Oh. You're an idiot. Oh, you were so much nicer when your brain wasn't really working. Well, guess what? Way. I'm not losing business, bro. I'm not losing sleep over Lizzie, okay? You are, and guess what? Soon, you're gonna lose her all together and then we're not even gonna have an issue. Okay, look, it's not like I want her. Okay? I just don't want anyone else to uh, have her. Uh-huh. Well, that's fair. <laughs> Why don't you just not let her get married, huh? Um, it's not like she's in love with Jonathan. Well, it's not like she and I are either. Okay? Then why don't you just feed her the same lines you use on random chicks? You know, you can just do that. You can't do that because you actually well, care for her. Do you know what? I don't do grand gestures. Uh-huh. She doesn't need one. She's Lizzie Spaulding. 
She just needs to hear it. Guess what? What? Not gonna happen. Okay. There you go. Whoops, what happened there? You made me smudge. You bet I did. did. That's right. Go get a touch-up, all right, so I can get some work done. Please, it's on me. Oh, good. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Tell well, Wanda to cut you a check. Okay, all right. You know what? I'm right, and I know you know I'm right, okay? I'm gonna get two, two manicures, and you're paying for both. And a pedicure. Hey! Guess hey. who just snake Bill out of a big old real estate deal? No freaking way. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I told you we were going to get back on top. We're on our way. Good job. How about I pour you a club soda? Well, I would love a club soda. And that is a very, very good answer. Yeah, you know, I'm not too proud of the way I did this, but actually, you know, I did it all fair square, but a little help from you. What does that mean? Oh, darling. Hey, you got him way off his feet. He's acting downright stupid. Now, I'm not judging you. You know, he had you spun a few weeks ago, so you're just getting back at him, I understand. I did not do anything. Oh. I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, right, sure. What's all that stuff in there? Uh, it's decorations, oh, yeah, yeah. because um, tomorrow I will be marrying Jonathan. You, you, does, does, does Bill know? Yes, he does. He does? Wow. You gotta stick that knife in and just turn it a little bit, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> He told Lizzie I killed a man. Kind of makes me want to. Lizzie marrying a murder is bad for business. So that's why you dug up dirt on me. <laughs> well, you know, I thought maybe I'd find something like you cheating on your taxes. But murder? It's a step up from arson. You don't know anything about me. I know that you're trouble. And you got Lizzie thinking you can do no wrong. Well, if I was a murderer, it'd be a pretty stupid move to get on my bad side. Thought I was already there. <laughs> Lizzie isn't worth that much to anyone. I'll do whatever I have to to keep you away from her. So you want her that bad, huh? No, I just don't want you anywhere near my daughter. Okay. okay. Well, does Lizzie know that's why you're marrying her? There's a lot Lizzie doesn't know. And you don't need to be keeping her so well informed. Well, I think she has a right to know what she's signing up for, don't you? She already said yes. Yeah. Well, she can always change her mind. Her family sucks, but once they find out what happened in Tourmaline... If you breathe one word about Tourmaline, it'll be your last. Are you going to be there? Hey, sweetie, if you want me to be there, I'll be there. We're going to have a, a real on. wedding. Do you really want to do this? There's nowhere else to put the no, presents. Wait, wait, the whoa, 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 whoa. I'm talking about it. a few weeks ago when you were thought you were having Bill's baby, you and he were talking about the future. And... I know. We were doing it for our child, and this is exactly the same thing. No, no. There was a gleam in your eye back then when you were talking about Bill. I don't see it with John. Well, maybe there was a gleam, followed by a lot of tears. <laughs> You're talking like Bill is even an option. <laughs> oh, 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 there's always options. <laughs> Neither one of these men are ever going to tell me they love me. One of them wants to marry me. That's enough. Bill's working late tonight, I hear. So what the hell do you think you're doing? I told you, I just brought a gift for the baby. Yeah. Listen, I don't know what's going on with you and Harley, but I know for sure it's not going to be a good thing for my son, so I will be getting an attorney to deal with you. I don't think you want to do that, yeah. Rick. So I pick up my son. I never want you to ever touch him again, as far as Harley's concerned. I'd stay away from her if you know what's good for you. You might want to do the same. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No. All right. I need a break. You all right? Yeah. Here. Oh, Some water. Sometimes I wonder if this is punishment for what I did in a lying disorder about that whole immigration thing. I never lie to anyone, especially to someone I love. And then the one time I do, everything falls apart. Things will get better. No, I know. I'm, they already are. 
Miss Iris, I mean, we're both bummed about the whole France thing, but... Yeah, that must have been hard to give up. Well, at least put on hold <laughs> right now. But you know, it's funny, the minute I stopped pressuring him, the more he wanted to be around. <laughs> well, it's good, he's taking care of you. No, he is. He's taking good care of me, and it's not like my knee is stopping us. Cyrus gets a very creative. <laughs> we didn't need France to reconnect. We just needed to be locked in a room together. Well, that's important, you know? Time together talking. Not just talking. <laughs> Actually, I've been giving him a hard time about his lines lately. His lines? <laughs> Oh, they used to make me melt when we first got together, but after the breaking up and the making up, uh, he's pulling them all out again. And I'm like, hello, you already have me. <laughs> he uh, jokes about it too. He's just so used to performing his opening act. So what, um, what, what, what does he say? <laughs> uh, things like, um, he doesn't know how he could go on without me, and he never knew he could feel this way. <laughs> Sounds really cheesy coming from anyone else, but he's a practice flirt. Yeah, you've said that. Um, I don't know, I, I think, I just think that would bother me. I guess, sometimes, but uh, it's me he comes home to. And now that I'm used to it, uh, I actually think it's kind of funny when he plays other women. It's like we've got this secret or something, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's weird, is it? I guess so. I don't know. I know that I'm gonna have to keep things interesting to keep Cyrus faithful. But, um, I just couldn't give him up if I tried, you know? Anyway, I don't think I can do any more of this today. So I'm going to let you finish working out. Thank you for your help. Anytime. Must drive you crazy, Bill. I burn things down, play dead, take her daughter, tell her I don't even really love her. Still thinks I'm a better catch than you. You know, I just feel sorry for her. Get married to a killer. <clears throat> what do you want? I don't want anything. I just like the fact that I own you. Don't you say one word about Tony. Oh, I'll keep up the threats. You're gonna lose Sarah. You're gonna lose everything. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> You're getting close, aren't you, buddy? Jonathan, stop it! Ah. Are you okay? Am I okay? Why don't you take this piece of trash and get out of here? Ah. Let's go now. Go. One word. Lizzie. running for a little while. What? Cyrus. Am I right? What about him? Well, that's why you're so happy. Marina's laid up. And Cyrus, he's been sticking around, so you've had time to work him. Not working on him, Dinah. Ow! Oh. Me. You better hurry up, then. I don't want you to miss your chance. You're glowing this much just thinking about him. No. Don't tell anybody. When did this happen? Well, it's kind of still happening. Where have I been? Well, nobody knows, Dinah. Your time, it's impeccable. I mean, Marina won't even be able to tell you. That's not why it happened now. It started before she got hurt? Well, kind of during. But we didn't know that she was hurt until after we had already Dinah, I feel terrible. <laughs> Not terrible enough to stop, huh? No, 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 no. We, we, we are going to tell her. I mean, we wanted to tell her immediately, but then she got hurt, and we saw how badly she was hurt, and you know, Cyrus has to take care of her. Well, it's nice of you to loan him out. Dinah. Listen, honey. 
I'm actually very happy for you. I think it's great. Yes, I do. But why don't you just get it out of your system before you tell her at all? What do you mean? I mean, you're not actually really falling for him, are you? You were the one who told me to do this. All of that stuff about fate bringing him to me. To have a good time, not for good. Dinah, Cyrus and I went through something very intense together. You know, we're, we're close. We wouldn't, we wouldn't take a leap like this if, if we didn't think it was the real thing. And that sounds exactly like Cyrus. What does that mean? What it means is that I have watched him operate all over Europe, and I've seen him say things like, you are the one. I didn't want to fall for you, but it just happened. You're special, but let's just keep it our little secret. Blah, blah, blah. Honey, look, I want you to have some fun, but I want you to take the rest with a grain of salt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's real. It's just, I think I'm pretty good at spotting a fake, you know, Dinah? Right, you're a detective. And this guy has an M.O. Well, whatever you guys call it, he, he needs to be loved. And once he has a woman besotted, he gets bored and just dumps her. You're watching it now. Well, I don't think Cyrus is acting bored with me. Marina. Honey, I'm sorry. I don't want to turn you from glowy to green, okay? Mallet and I are on the outs, and I am a cynic these days. You can talk to me after he takes me back. If he takes you back? I am just trying to help you and myself, and he will take me back. Billy, help me fix this. Oh, Billy was here. Yes? Selling you on his son? No talking business. He has issues with his son as well. Good. Maybe he can help me then. Help you what? What? Bill promised he wasn't going to say anything. Hey, 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 you can't hurt him. You can't hurt him, Jonathan. I'm not going to lie to you like he does. I, I think we do have to go. What? You had said that we should take Sarah and disappear after the wedding, and I I think that we should do it. It's getting too complicated here with my granddad and everything. Well, we could probably be gone before Alan ever got back, but you didn't want to do that before. I think we have to. Are you sure you're willing to give all this up? Your job, your life, family? You and Sarah will be my family. Even though I told you that I can't be the kind of husband that you'd leave Bill. Yeah. This yeah. means that you could never talk to him again, ever. I know. We have to do it, OK? So after the wedding, I will leave everyone and everything to be with you and Sarah. OK. I'll pack the car. keep expecting that Alan's gonna uh, sweep in and lavish me and the baby with gifts and flowers and talk about whisking us off someplace. <laughs> you don't sound disappointed. No, I just mean that his silence is scarier. Don't worry about it, bad. They're tracking Alan. He's not in town, honey. He's gone. He must be on his jet somewhere. Who knows? Oh, I, I, I see. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose you or the baby, am I? Okay. Of course I'm not. I'm not. Hell of a lot of good that did. Eighty dollar reckon. Hey. There you are. How's the gym? Good. And shopping? Uh, I didn't actually make it to shopping. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? I just hung out around here. You okay? Yeah. Um, 
I just, I'm feeling like, um, I, I think that we should get out of here. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I don't know, somewhere with you. Um, you know, someplace without a bed. <laughs> no, I mean, someplace we can talk and just be normal. Normal? Yes, like we will be when everybody knows. I think I should go and hang out with Marina for a little bit. Yeah, it's getting late. Yeah, I'll probably just stay. Okay. So is this just sex? What, us? Yes, us. <sighs> no, come on, Molly. I, I told you. I know I... what you told me. Look, I was just thinking, we almost got caught at the party. Rick almost caught us at your place, and we've agreed we're not ready to be caught yet, right? that you are golden. Really? Because I saw Harley at the gym earlier, and I think I made her really uncomfortable. Me too. Yeah, well, it's not like she doesn't deserve it. You know, I mean, we were talking, and at any point, she could have interrupted me and told me, hey, by the way, I happen to be sleeping with your fiance. You know what? That That is all it could be. You don't know. Did she say that? No, I mean, she's sure that he's into her and that it's a real thing, but I don't think they have worked past anything but being bed buddies, you know? And maybe Cyrus is just messing around. Okay, I don't think that makes me exactly golden. Look, if you are not number one, you are a close second. You need to hang on. You also need to kick it up a notch in the passion department, all right? Oh, right, because I'm feeling really hot. Marina. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. I'll see you later. All right, see ya. Mm. Ow. What did you... Dinah, I knew you were going to do that. I knew Show you were to get you back out. It's good. Hey. How long have you been out here? I miss you. Uh -huh. Mm, not long. You know me, just like to get outside and get some fresh air. Right. I had a very big night. Oh, yeah? Check these out. Wow. Oh, yeah. French manicure. Just trying to keep France alive. <laughs> very nice. Oh, yes. And I had a very good day at physical therapy. Actually, Harley was at the gym, and she helped me with some of my exercises. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think... After such an excruciating workout, I deserve a kiss. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we're ready. Are you happy with all the bunting? Uh, yeah, you didn't screw it up too much. What time does Reva drop Sarah off? I just told her to keep her tonight because I didn't know how late we'd be, uh, you know, doing wedding stuff. I think I have packing boxes in the back. Hey, you sure you want to do this? Goodbye, Springfield. Definitely. Lizzie! Lizzie! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, you just don't quit, do you? What are you talking about? I need to talk to Lizzie. You know what time it is? Yeah, what time it is. Bride and groom need a little alone time. <laughs> I just think 
Is Lizzie in here? I need to talk to her, okay? We're, uh, bucking tradition. You know, I mean, night before you're not supposed to, but when you've had a baby, there's a person. Come on. Who are we kidding? Right? Okay. Good night, Bill. Next on Guiding Light. You want to come to a wedding? I think that Bill is going to love this. I don't know that I'm ever going to get over Tammy. I am going to love you forever. Lizzie and I are going to leave town after the ceremony. You're just going to disappear?